you are okay and looking forward to the weekend I certainly am got a few social engagements hopefully seeing my friend tomorrow morning and then going out for our Christmas slash leaving do slash birthday meal of a couple of different people with vouchers at Pizza Express it's nothing better than having a meal discounted is there always makes it taste that bit better I think and since it is almost bedtime why not do a little fruit mask and see if that's any good while we're doing this video. I like to do two for the price of one and that way I get to cover up my face at the same time. Although I don't know why I should think that looking at me wearing this is better than looking at me like this. Have I got issues? Probably. This is the Fruity Magic Mask by Uha Rejuvenating Cream Face Mask. Give your skin an antioxidant boost with magical pomegranate, the star turn this powerhouse for masks jam-packed with an oomph of nutrients thanks to a host of natural ingredients like rejuvenating green tea, skin soothing aloe and regenerating honey. Also featuring vitamins A, C and E, it's the perfect detox, leaving skin soft and supple with a natural glow. Can also help treat spot prone skin, which I need because like, what is this? You see this? And I've got a little friend in my eyebrow. And what is this beast that's under my neck? I, who gets spots there? Honestly, this is way more attractive than just looking at my naked face, isn't it? Right, just for future reference, if you hate me doing this at the same time as showing you either a non-beauty thing, which is what it is, you know, you see the picture and the title, you know what we're doing, then please let me know and I won't do it in future. So you know we're here for Degusta Box. Degusta Box is £12.99 a month. I do have a link. I think the link works better than the code for referring people on. Or you can just get onto the website and then you can use this code instead of their code to get your discount off your first box. Of course you don't have to use my code but it does help my channel when people do use it because after you get two people I think to use it you get a free box the next time. And of course you know what I like to say never pay full price. <laughs> So if you want to find out what is inside January's box and did I make a mistake in buying it, uh, maybe, then I'd love it if you could give me a thumbs up, ring that notification bell, share this video when we're done and of course it would be awesome if you subscribed. If you don't I'll keep singing. All right <laughs> let's get into the video. So this month's Degusta box. I don't really like healthy stuff that much and of course everyone goes like healthy and detox and fresh start in January which I understand it's the thing to do isn't it but I just am not into it I mean I'm into being fit and healthy but without eating any of this food or without doing any exercise do you think that's why I haven't succeeded just yet maybe maybe um, I'm also, by the way, in a different recording space, so let me know if you prefer this to the last video, if it looks any clearer, better, whatever. Let me know what you think. I didn't really care that much for December's box. I mean, overall, I like the Gusta box because I like trying new things and seeing things that are new to the market, things that I wouldn't normally try. It does entice me to keep getting it. And this, I think I will be happy with. Leo Bites, Apple, 100% Natural Fruit Crisp. Vegan, gluten-free, no added sugar. I think, have we had these before from here? I feel like I have. There's definitely one type of these apple or fruit crisp things that I've really loved from a brand. So hopefully this is the one. They're £1.50 for a bag. That's not, can that really be true? £1.50 for this. That's ridiculous. It says they retain all vitamins, high in fibre. I mean, 10 grams. How many apples is 10 grams dried down though? You can add them to your breakfast cereal, suitable for baking, cake decorations. It's 100% apples with a trace of sunflower oil to prevent stickiness. And they like to be eaten as soon as you open the pack, which is true because they will go all soggy otherwise. They pick the sweetest fruit in season and freeze dry it to retain the goodness. 10 kilos of fresh fruit equals one kilo of Leo Bites crisps. So this is like 100 grams of apples. How many apples is 100 grams of apples? Two for £1.50? Maybe not so bad. Let's see if I've got the skin on it. I thought they'd be crispy, but they're not. These are delicious. Tastes just like eating apple. Oh, phew. First thing, and I'm happy about it. They're the healthy fruit crisps for the whole family to enjoy. They include apple, strawberry, and banana crisps, and one pack counts as one of your five a day. Only 37 calories per bag. So that's not bad, is it? That makes me feel like I could eat this and not feel guilty about it. 
all right, maybe they're winning me round so far. One product down. Pipers made by farmers, Mata Paneer Crisp Peas, 91 calories. Now, Mata Paneer, isn't that a type of cheese thing? Like Mota Paneer? That's the cheesy peas thing that I used to have with Indian. Who knows? Pipers make snacks that taste great. We produce the finest pea snacks using the best quality peas, working with unique ingredients, partners, creating bold flavours. It's based on traditional North Indian dish, a perfect partner for our crispies. Uh, they are pea and rice snacks, source of protein and fibre, gluten free, made from marrow fat peas. Ooh, matta paneer seasoning, sugar, rice flour and salt. Okay, got to try it. 21 gram bag for one pound. Mm, quite expensive, it really does smell of Indian. One pound for this. As usual, it's not full. So the size of these is basically what's in here and they're all standing up. There's about 25, 26 of these for your pound. The consistency is similar to that of a chipstick. You know, like the salt and vinegar chipsticks. The flavor's actually okay. It's kind of weird because I'm not used to eating Indian flavor crisps, but it's actually quite tasty. Am I being bowled over by January's Degusta box. I could eat those. I would prefer them in salt and vinegar flavour, but maybe that's just because I'm not used to having this kind of flavour. This would be quite a nice thing to put out at a party for a little snack as an alternative to regular crisps or Doritos or something like that. Mm. For a tasty low calorie vegetarian snack, look no further than Piper's Crispies. Crispies are a fresh take on the British pea, offering protein, fibre and only 91 calories per pack. They offer bold Indian flavours in gluten-free, wheat-free and barley-free snack. So that's two for two. And I, honestly, I did not think I would like that at all. Oh, this looks nice. 10 calories. Hartley's Black Forest Gatto Jelly. Look at it. Wibble, 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 jelly on a plate. Jelly in a cup. Mmm. I'm going to eat this. Suitable for vegetarians, no artificial colours or flavours. It's got sweeteners in it. Five calories per pot. This is 10 calories. What? This is 10 cal fabulous, but then on the side it says per pot, five calories. Keep me in the cupboard or pop me in the fridge for better results. That's cool that it doesn't have to be refrigerated though. They're in fabulous dessert inspired flavours. These puds are perfect for an after dinner sweet treat and with fewer than 10 calories per jelly pot, they're ideal for avoiding any new year resolution diet wobbles. So the other flavour is lemon cheesecake. Not a super fan of lemon stuff, as you might know. Right, my husband is here to save the day and give me a teaspoon. We'd I like to you. test these things. Try one, of, spicy in try one of those. Strong scent, right? But what do you think? A mild flavour, isn't it? You don't like them? What about the texture? It's like a, if it's a bit soggy. Oh, I feel like they're like... Um, what's it? Like chipsticks. Yeah. Oh yeah, like a what's it. I well, know, it's a, it's a consistency I've not had before, I don't think. Is it confusing you because of the yeah. taste? The smell, the taste. It feels odd to have that. But I yeah. think it's... I don't... I like them anyway. Oh, well, I'm glad you do. It's good. What else? Try a bit of apple. But I really like them, so I don't want you to eat them. And these ones. <laughs> Did you hear that? They're good, right? You don't like it. You don't like the consistency. Tastes nice, but the consistency is a bit, like, gooey. Yeah, I like that gooey. Right. right, there you go. So this is this jelly stuff. Mmm... Can you ever go wrong with jelly though? What flavour is it? So that is oh, black, black, oh, black oh, forest well. gatto. Well, like the pie, the cake. Mm. He's half naked. You wouldn't want to see him in this state. Yeah, that's nice. I wouldn't want you all fainting. Boy, get out! Those. Normally, you mostly get what's in these boxes, so it's my turn to have you everything. Got, you've got a good selection, haven't you? All right, let's try this lemon. One. Can't go wrong with lemon. It's actually sweet enough that I like it. Oh, it does taste a bit like cheesecake too. I take the tiniest little delicate spoon. He takes the biggest one he can possibly manage and then goes back in for seconds. Give it back. Honestly, look what he's just done to my jelly. Greedy. That tastes like cheese. Oh, okay. This one's eight calories. That's why it says less than 10 calories. Right, that makes more sense. It does taste like cheesecake though, doesn't it? Not just like lemon. No. It does taste, it gives you that cheesecake thing. It's meant to be cheesecake. Mm, it's lemon oh. cheesecake. There you go. Okay, thanks. Oh, for me to test. I'll call you back. <laughs> So yeah. These are really nice. I am very excited about these. Because it's hard to find a diet dessert that is tasty and I really don't like the taste of sweetener. Often I find things that have got sweetener in have that like artificial weird taste. But these taste good. So far, so good. Ah yay, my favourite. No. Rovita protein, red quinoa and sesame, nasty old dry breads. 
Why not try them with grilled chicken spinach and a splash of balsamic glaze? Because you need to put stuff on them to make them not taste horrible. I know some people really like these. My mum loves Ravita stuff, but I just can't, I can't. But maybe new year, time to try something new. I haven't tried these ones before. Protein is an important part of a balanced diet, so we've created an easy way for you to enjoy more with Ravita protein. Each crunchy slice is baked with pre-protein alongside rye, of course, and topped with a red quinoa and sesame seeds. It's got no artificial ingredients, high in fiber, suitable for vegetarians. Five pack, oh, five packs of four slices, I see. I think the price on this is not bad at all. Just gotta find a way to make it taste good and not feel dry. All recipes considered. Let me know your thoughts. This is something I can get into. Pick up, I don't think I've ever had these before. Have I, from Balsam? I feel like I've seen the advert though. Biscuits with chocolate in the middle. Not really keen on chocolate biscuits per se, but when you're on a sugar-free diet and you get these through the post, see my sugar-free diet version is I don't buy things that have got sugar in them. Like I don't buy extra sugar or sweets. But if something happens to me like this, then I just get to eat it. It's fair, right? Anyway, what are these biscuits about? Milk chocolate bar between two crisp biscuits made from wheat flour. Oh, it's got ground hazelnuts in. They're perfect for snacking on the go, use the individual wrapping, and a great few to pick up whenever you need a treat. Shall I try my treat now? I can definitely see this helping me to wake up tomorrow with a cup of tea. So it just look like this. Kind of as you'd expect. Definitely a crunchy, dry biscuit. Almost to the point of being a bit burned, but it doesn't taste burned. I think this will be definitely nicer with a hot drink. I'm a dipper. Are you a dipper? Or are you a dipping is bad? Let me know. So I'm not even gonna continue with that. I'll have that with a cup of tea in a bit. My husband says that it's really bad because I even dip in squash. Is that bad? Let's get these nasty old things out of the way. PB Fit bags of powder, peanut butter powder. It's everything you love about peanut butter made better. Whole roasted peanuts pressed to perfection means PB Fit contains up to 90% less fat than traditional peanut butter and about one third of the calories. Great in smoothies, shakes, baking, and more. Or it says you can use make it low-fat peanut butter by combining a pack of this with two tablespoons of water. And there's two of those. Yay, another favorite friend. Callow rice cakes. I ran out of recording space, didn't I? So I thought I will go away and wash my face off. And it feels lovely and soft, even though I haven't put any um, like moisturizer or anything on. I haven't toned or anything yet, but it does feel nice when i first took it off even this little red mark here i was like it's gone but it's kind of come back i feel like it looks a bit less angry maybe i don't know that's getting massive is that a spot or is this, that like a growth if i got a creature in my face how do you know until something bursts out of you and that's it your life is never the same am i going to ott about this maybe i'm supposed to have soft supple skin with a natural glow do i have a soft skin yes is it supple moves around yes do i have a natural glow quite possibly yeah not bad helping you out at night mask or whenever mask i think that's not bad actually let's go back to this so it's yellow because it's corn i guess it's funny though because it still looks like a rice cake i guess they use the same mold definitely leans more towards popcorn can't really taste the salt not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Still need a lot of help on what to put on this to make it not just dry. Maybe I could sprinkle my own vinegar and salt on it and make it work. I don't know. Does that work? Do people do stuff like that? Still looks and feels like you're eating polystyrene though. Natural polystyrene. Here we go. Not terrible. Willing to give this another shot. Let me know some ideas. These are the perfect New Year snacks to get you back on track at only 30 calories per cake. This is too thin to be classed as a cake, by the way. Just saying. Uh, less than 3% fat and all gluten free, they make the perfect base for a delicious topping. I'm reserving judgment. I'm not gonna throw these away. Next up we have this, and I have actually bought this exact one, I think so, because I had an offer on one of these apps that I used to buy this, and I've got another one that's got like spicy stuff in it, and it's a ramen noodle kit. Miso Tasty was created by a passionate foodie chef and award-winning entrepreneur, Bonnie Chung. For years, miso was my secret weapon in the kitchen, but my fascination for this ancient Japanese superfood led me to embark upon a three-year quest around the world to make my very own miso. They're all created using the best miso in Japan, packed full of authentic flavour and natural goodness. 
and it's from that region in Japan for authenticity. It's got ramen noodles in here, our signature miso paste, sesame oils, wakami seaweed and onion garnish and toasted sesame seeds. You can enjoy a delicious meal in minutes and use the sesame seeds to garnish your final dish like a pro. And then you can add vegetables or proteins. It's got a picture of chicken, it's got, I don't know what that is, peas I think, mushrooms, avocado, or egg, egg, not avocado, that makes more sense, <laughs> and prawns. And then if you, it's got a little thing on the back here, if you scan that, they'll do a kitchen demo and give you some ideas. It's vegetarian until you add meat, obviously. <laughs> what is miso? A staple in Japanese cooking. Miso is a naturally fermented soybean paste which is famed for its ancient superfood qualities. Plant protein, source of antioxidants and fermented goodness. So £3.50 for two meals, that's not bad actually. Well then again, like, if you're going to buy a pack of pasta, it'd be like, I don't know, a pound for a pack of spaghetti that'd feed four plus people. So £3.50 for noodles for two. Mm, I suppose it depends if you like them, I guess. Got some leftovers from dinner last night, top your noodles with leftover roast or vegetables from the fridge for a quick meal in minutes. I like that they're finding a lot of ways to make these usable and encouraging you. That makes me feel like it's more worth its money. I don't know, what do you guys think? Now this has got to be the weirdest thing in this box. It's Willie's ACV, apple cider vinegar, with the mother. Delicious as a tonic or dressing. What does that mean, with the mother? And you turn it upside down, it's got more writing it says it's shaken to awaken the mother i'm scared do i want to awaken the mother it's raw unpasteurized guilt and gluten free and it's 50 ml because i'd never thought of a cider vinegar as a tonic however i don't know if this is enough to be like oh, i feel good after having my tonic because this is two drinks maybe i don't know what do people pay for like health drinks and stuff is that acceptable so one pound fifty for one health drink a day maybe I just don't know if it's enough for me to decide if I really need it in my life. But maybe you have to try the drink if you like it, continue with it for a while. It says, Willie's ACV starts life amongst the 200 acres of pristine orchards in the beautiful Herefordshire countryside. From apple to bottle, Willie's ACV provides you with your daily dose of probiotic goodness. Our raw and unpasteurised ACV contains the mother and is sustainable and recyclable. It keeps talking about the mother. What is the mother? I will try and put something here and tell you what the mother is because I need to go find out. Now, what is it your partner likes to hear you say when you're having special time? Yes, yes, yes. Is that too much? So we have three of these yes bars. This is lively lemon quinoa and chili fruit bar. No added sugar, one of your five a day. Gluten free, lactose free, vegan and a source of fiber. I just don't get this. Delicious snacks made from wholesome ingredients. Quinoa, lemon and chilli as a snack. I guess it's in my head. I always feel like this kind of thing is sweet, but... Oh, it's 75% apple, 2% quinoa with lemon and chilli. So it is sweet. I'm going to have to taste this. And then we have tempting dark chalk, sea salt and almond nut bar. Vegetarian, gluten-free, high in fibre. Five grams of sugar per bar, source of protein. And you can see all the nuts and things there. I know I'm not going to like that at all. Way too nutty for me. So I'm not even going to bother trying it because all I'm going to say is, oh, I don't like it. 42% almonds, 18% roasted peanuts, dark chocolate, 16%. Definitely more one for my beloved. 189 calories in that. Even though this is supposed to be like a diet health bar, this feels like a lot of calories for... I mean, this is this is basically... If you're, if you're on like a 1,200 calorie diet, this is breakfast just this that would be like breakfast or two snacks in one bar i don't think i could do that however i could have 20 of these to have my 200 calories 20 20 i know which i would pick the last one is delightful coffee dark choc and cherry oh I like cherries it's a nut bar again, vegetarian, gluten-free, high in fibre, 28% almonds, 28% roasted peanuts, and then dark chocolate, stuff, 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 and a bit of dried cherries, 2.5% dried cherries, and apple concentrate. So again, I get my husband to taste these. This one's 32 grams, the other two are 35, so you get a little bit more for your £1.20. They all count as one of your five a day. 
So this is what quinoa mostly made of apple one looks like. Hmm. Hmm. The apple bit's nice. I get a hint of warmth from the chilli. I don't know why I need it though. I mean, I wouldn't know it's quinoa apart from all these little dots. Can't say I can taste the lemon. It's mostly just like an apple bar. Maybe you should just eat an apple. This one's 118 calories. I don't know how I feel about this. It's still a bit warm at the back of my mouth. Yeah. Maybe you just come and taste some stuff. Ooh. What's Have this? Have a little nibble of this. Oh, it's like jelly. It's okay, it's fine. It's made of apple. Oh, don't taste any heat. I get a little bit of heat, but you know me, I'm very sensitive to heat. Taste you the apple. like it? Uh, As an again, apple bar, do you think it's nice? I wouldn't buy a pack of them and have one every day. No, it's just not very enthralling, is it? It's just... It's almost like, um, do you know that like apple sauce you put with your pork? Mm. Kind Slidified. Of, yeah, kind of that, but like... Now, this one. Uh, this one I like. Some tempting dark chocolate sea salt and almond nut butter. This smells good. Does it taste like sea salt? There's a lot of saltiness to it. What it do you taste? Like solid chocolate. Coffee, chocolate and cherry. Mm. I don't really like coffee things. But, um, can't really taste the coffee or the cherry. No, it's only got, it's got a tiny bit of cherry in it. It's got like a bitter, a bitter taste to it, like maybe that's the coffee. Mm. Would you buy that? Oh, no, I have that one. You'd buy that one? Yeah. So this one doesn't really taste the cherry or the coffee, just a bit of bitterness. Not a fan. Like you can taste a of... cardboard. Tastes like salted or something. What Not is a fan. It? You can taste the salt. Well, that's good because it is a lightly salted corn uh, one. So instead of rice, it's corn. Okay. It's a corn cake rather than yeah. a rice cake. I can get the, the flavour, but the, consist the texture. Yeah. Very dry, I need to drink mm. about 10 gallons of water with that. Oh, does my skin look any better than earlier? Smooth. Yeah? I don't know, for some reason... I don't Do know, I look glowy? Uh, yeah, nice. Gorgeous. Good, that's what I like to hear. This bar isn't getting me screaming yes, but it's okay. It's, I can eat it and I will finish it. I don't really get why they're putting quinoa in here. Have they just jumped on the quinoa wagon and trying to be trendy or something? I don't get the point of the chilli at all. I guess you're trying to make it taste a bit different, but I, d I just don't get it. I don't get it. I can eat it, but I don't get it. Okay, so I've had a quick add up and it's worth £20.13, pence, which is about average for a Degusta box, not bad. The most exciting thing is that I found some healthy things that I actually quite like and probably like half of this box, or at least I can tolerate 90%. The only thing I don't want are the peanut butter powders. So I'm pleasantly surprised. I wouldn't say it's filled with all my top favourite things, but I definitely am more into those crisps than I thought I'd be. I like the Leo Bites, they are great. The Jelly Pots, I think that is my favourite. I'm really excited to discover those. I just wanted to look up this mother situation and I found a whole article about this on The Guardian. It's all about clean eating. Aficionados claim that one tablespoon of vinegar diluted with water and sometimes sweetened, is rich in natural minerals, vitamins and enzymes that can help regulate blood sugar levels, boost the immune system and aid weight loss and improve the general health of the gut. Practicing what he preaches is entrepreneur William Chase, who describes his own apple cider vinegar, now moved into a sphere that he calls Fit Foods, launching his own Willie's Apple Cider Vinegar. We're using tiny crab apples, which would otherwise have been wasted, and among 48 apple varieties from our 300-year-old orchards. The editor of the Healthy Food Guide admitted there were many unsubstantiated claims for apple cider vinegar, one of them being that it can help you lose weight, but there are no studies to prove this. But drinking a glass of diluted apple cider vinegar before a meal may help fill you up so you eat less. A better idea is to get into the habit of eating more salads with a light dressing made using the apple cider vinegar. That way you can get your five a day too. That makes a bit more sense about what this is. So that is it, you've made it through the video. Thank you so much for staying with me to the end. I know it's a bit longer than usual, but I wanted to give you the full facts on the mother and you know, give you a taste test because that's what you really need to hear, isn't it? I can show you the products, but if you see what my mouth says, it can help you out. Let me know what you think about these products down below, if you've got any recipes for me, and let me know if you mind me putting face masks on while I'm doing this video, or if you'd rather I just stick to what I'm talking about, what's in the box. Until I see you next time, I hope you live every moment well, and take care of yourselves, and find something positive. Bye guys.